Rababashan, the Kebede Badum, Reboshana Maye Badim, Camille Boshanta by Balaraba Sande Dudim, Camille Buntedum, the Camene San Farabadim, Rababashan de Bilibanum, Camille Bashan de Badum, the Reboshana Mabandidum, Camille Buntedum, the Cabene San Arabandum, Camille Boshana Rabadum, Camale Burandim, the Cabene San Arababandim, Camale Basham, the Reboshan de Banum, Camene Ruburabandim, the Camene San Arabadim, the Reburabandim. Kame yele bushananum, kafara bashan de bede badum, rababan de banum, kame ne sana rabadum, kame ne ruburam bele basandim, kama ribushanda dum, ye kabele la basana ma ye bedim, ye kabene rabana shandu bedum, kame le rubura mashanum, ye balaban de bede badum. Makabene sana la badin, yere bushanda la banum, kakane sandili, rubo sambe ye badin, ye barabashande bede banum, kame yele bunda ye basandum, kamare bashande bede badum, kama lubedim, ye kabana shante kabana bashanu, ye farabana shande lele budin, ye kabene sana rabalambe ye bade bedum, kambele le bashanu, ye faribura bana mantin, amele bushundu, ye tambele rabana shante ke bede banu. Abba father, I give you the glory, I just wanna thank you. I thank you this morning. I thank you this morning. I thank you for this morning. I thank you because this is the day the Lord has made. I rejoice because I am glad in it. We are glad in it. We thank you because you are good. I thank you because you are kind. We thank you because you are holy. I thank you because you are righteous. We thank you, Abba Father. You are the light. We thank you because you are King. You are Jehovah Nissim. You are Jehovah Sekenum. You are Elohim. Your name Elohim. Adonai is your name. We honor you. I give you all the praise. You are Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nissim, Jehovah Tsekenum, Maribu Shande Badim. I honor you, Abba Father. You are Father who art in heaven. You are the Lord. You are King Jesus. You are Holy Ghost. And I thank you for your presence in creation. I honor your presence today, Father. I want to thank you. Thank you for the clouds. Thank you for the rain. Thank you for the sun, the moon. Thank you for the stars. Thank you, Abba Father, for the trees and the animals. Thank you because you are the creator of the heavens and the earth. I thank you for your angels that are all around us. I thank you because we are come to Zion. Thank you for Zion where you are the glory. Thank you for Zion that Christ is the light. I thank you because of our seated position in Christ Jesus. I thank you for our seated position in Christ Jesus. I thank you for that seated position, the place of our authority. We are dominion, authority and we are power. And I thank you Father for the dimension of your spirit. Holy Ghost, I welcome you. Holy Ghost, I welcome you, King Jesus. I welcome you, Abba Father. I welcome you. I welcome your manifestation. I welcome your presence. I welcome your holiness right in this place because you are holy. Thank you for your holiness. Thank you, Jesus. I honor your holiness. You said, Be holy, for I am holy. Thank you for that holiness manifested in creation this morning. Thank you for that holiness that we have become. Thank you for that holiness that we are walking in. Every part of us is holy. Holy. The mind is holy. The heart is holy. The soul is holy. The spirit is holy. The body is holy. That's why you said we should present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you. I present my body. I present my mind. I present my thoughts. I present my arms. My ears. Every part of me. I present it to you. I present my smell. My smelling. My sensory organs. I present them to you. Abba Father. I presenting every dimension of being holy and acceptable. This is my reasonable worship in your presence. Father, I just want to honor your presence this morning to you be all the glory over your people. Thank you for the testimonies. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for what you have done in the lives of your people. Thank you for your rescue. Thank you for your freedom. Thank you for your deliverance, your breakthrough. Thank you for your liberty. Thank you for your presence, your gifts manifested in the lives of your people. Thank you because the testimony of Jesus in the lives of your people prophesying over their lives every word that you have spoken thank you for the ones that came to pass thank you for the ones that are yet to come to pass thank you for the ones that have already come to pass Lord Abba Father I just want to thank you thank you for eyes to see thank you for ears to hear thank you for being able to use the activity of our limbs Maraba Shande this morning I just want to say thank you thank you Abba Father Maraba Shande that we in your presence this morning 
upon him to the glory of your name we are able to manifest the glory of your essence walking in the dimension of your glory to present us and everything that is about us even in creation unto you as we bow down with the 24 elders the living creatures to honor and declare that you are worthy worthy of the praise worthy of the glory worthy of the honor because you are worthy of it all we honor you for your throne we honor you for the river oh father we honor you for your angels we honor you for your words when spoken that does not return to you void Abba father King Jesus I honor you King Jesus I honor you King Jesus I honor every dimension of you while you were in creation now in heaven seated on the right hand side of the father I honor your word I honor your life I honor your resurrection I honor your power I honor your walk I honor intimacy with you my Abba Shandi Badum I honor your miracles your signs and your wonders in the lives of your people and for that reason I come before you in the essence that we are we are spirit that's why the Bible declares we are not in the realm of the flesh but in the realm of the spirit I thank you for the life in the spirit I thank you for my life because my life is spirit I thank you for my life because my life is spirit I am not we are not your people are not in the realm of the flesh that is why the Bible declares do not know do not know one another according to the flesh because our life is spirit that is why you said the words that we speak they are spirit Abba Father I honor you for my life I honor you for the lives of your people the lives of your saints who are spirit in a body and the life that they are is spirit Abba Father for that reason the Bible declares according to Romans 8 and 1 it says now the case now the case is closed now the case is closed the case is closed today thank you for closing every case that the enemy has opened every legality every legal case that has been opened unto us that's why the Bible declares it says enter the gate with thanksgiving enter the courts with praise we've come to your court because the Bible declares in Luke chapter 18 verses 1 to 18 and he says the widow she went to the judge and he said grant me justice from my adversary there are some things that are only and can be only dealt with in the courts of heaven so this morning we come boldly before the throne of grace in order to obtain mercy and find grace and this morning thank you for your mercy it was your mercy that woke us up it was your mercy that brought us into this dimension of your holiness Abba Father I bless you for your mercy thank you because you are mercy for you said your mercy triumphs over judgment Abba Father thank you Father that your mercy is delivering us from every judgment the enemy placed upon our lives the judgment that was placed that we did not even know about thank you for your mercy speaking because we are before your throne of grace so therefore thank you for your mercy that is closing every case upon us upon our lives this very day the Bible declares Marabba Shante now the case is closed there remains no accusing voice of condemnation against those who are joined in life you know with Christ Jesus the anointed one thank you father the case of condemnation thank you for the case of condemnation every accusing voice to condemn us condemn our hearts condemn our conscience condemn our thoughts condemn our mind condemn the body condemn our relationships condemn our business condemn our ministry condemn our marriages condemn our children condemn our lives our parents Lord our father the case is closed that every voice of condemnation Abba Father thank you for your glory in this place today that the case the manifestation of every case that was open oh Lord Abba Father without our knowledge every case foundational cases every accusing voice that was released concerning these cases you said the case is closed there remains 
no accusing that remains your word declares it you said it and therefore it does not return to you void because your word when spoken your word when spoken they are spirit they are life Lord Abba Father and that is why you said in your word every case of condemnation every case of condemnation accusing your people accusing your people accusing their families accusing their finances accusing their homes accusing their lives it says the case is closed and there remains no voice of condemnation because Revelation chapter 12 verse 10 to 11 it says and the accuser of the brethren who accuses them day and night Lord Abba Father whether this accusation was done in the day or was done in the night you said the case is closed Marabashante Macabella, La Robo Shantele Basha, Abba Father, anywhere that we have participated in this in times past in ignorance, Lord Abba Father, we repent of that ignorance, Lord Abba Father, Maka Shantele Badon, anywhere where we have participated in accusing, participated in condemning, condemning the government, condemning one another, condemning Lord Abba Father, every dimension of it, where we have participated in this in itself, Lord Abba Father, we repent of it. In the mighty name of Jesus, and for that reason, thank you that the voices of accusation, because you said your mercy triumphs over every judgment. So thank you for your mercy that has triumphed over every judgment that has been written against us, every law of ordinance written against us. Thank you that your mercy is cancelling them out, that the condemnation, the voices that have risen to condemn, the demonic voices that have risen to condemn, he says the case is closed and there remains no accusing voice against those who are joined we are joined in life union we are joined in life union because the union of life the oneness according to John chapter 17 when he spoke the word he said father make us one as you and I we are one because in Christ there is no condemnation so every power that has risen to condemn your people I break off the powers of such condemnation condemnations in the mighty name of Jesus I set them free every condemnation that has led them into slavery whether they were condemned because they aborted they were condemned because they got raped they were condemned because of every injustice against their lives and Abba Father that has made them into slaves Abba Father we repent for listening to the voice of the enemy to condemn us and for believing not just listening but listening and believing because I know you cause us to hear those voices to hear what they are speaking concerning us so where we have believed that Lord Abba Father we are guilty for what we are not guilty for Lord we repent of it and I set you free from the slavery of condemnation the Bible declares and there remains no accusing voice because the Bible also declares in Galatians 5.1 it said it is for freedom that Christ has set you free you will not be yoked again to the slave of condemnation Makashande, every joke Marebo Shiro, Yeriashutarno that has come against you Yebasha to condemn you Yebashande and to leave you in a place of condemnation Makerunde Satari I break off the yoke Makerebosha and I set you free Marebosha and I now yoke you completely back to Christ in the name of Jesus and I release the justice of the Lord that every yoke Marabasha and the legalities and the roots of it be reconciled in Christ Jesus the Bible says for the law of the spirit of life I declare over you this very day it says whatever you decree it has been established I declare that the law of the spirit of life is now at work in you the spirit of life is at work in your finances the spirit of life is at work in your marriage the spirit of life is at work in your ministry the spirit of life I prophesy is at work over your finances at your job in your school over your education the spirit of life because the Bible declares in Genesis chapter 1 it says the world was not in chaos no it wasn't it was in darkness because there was absence of light and the spirit of the Lord was hovering over the face of the deep and the Bible says God said let there be light it was the light of creation and the light of creation began because Holy Ghost the breath of life began to give life 
to what was in the dark, bringing it into light. And for that reason, let the law of the spirit of life begin to work over your life, over your children, over your marriage from this very day in the name of Jesus. Marabasha, no longer are you in darkness because first Peter 2 9 declares I brought you out of darkness into my marvelous light why because you are a chosen generation your children they are light your husband he is light your wife she is light the business the ministry it is light wherever you go you are light so therefore the spirit of life is at work in the light that you have become inside of me so therefore Marabasha this is for the law of the spirit of life through the anointing of Jesus has liberated. Do you see why he says, and the anointing shall destroy the yoke? Because the anointing of Christ Jesus, Marebosham, has destroyed the yoke, every yoke of darkness. Marebosham, it has liberated you from the law of sin and death. The law of sin and death, Marebosham, you shall no longer walk in it. Marebosham, nothing around you dies anymore. Your ministry does not die anymore. Your marriage, there is no death in it. Marebosham, your finances there is no death in it your health there is no death in it because the Bible declares if you believe and live you shall not die John eleven twenty five 25 declares his word he says of, of sin and death no longer shall sin rule over your life no longer shall you be enslaved to sin because I have brought you into the realm of freedom for God achieved what the law was unable to accomplish because the law was limited by the weakness of human nature for God achieved for God achieved for God achieved what the law was unable to accomplish my rebel shall this is the sovereignty of our God who bypasses the process who has brought you into the perfect law of liberty Jesus is the perfect law of liberty and has now achieved my rebel he has now achieved my what the law was unable to accomplish that is why you read in Hebrews 11 all the way down he said they waited they did not receive the promise the law could not give them the promise but grace through Christ Jesus brought the promise because Christ is the promise is our inheritance and you have entered into the law of life through Christ you have entered the accomplishment you are no longer limited by the law because because Christ came to identify with our weaknesses he was clothed Maribushani as man God's son gave his body Maribushan hey Ribushan Talabasha because of the finished work of the cross he gave Maribasha he came in the flesh went on the cross and did it all for you he said on the cross Maribushintere it is finished Father forgive them for they don't know what they do because in ignorance you did those things you did not know you were doing them in ignorance because you did not have the knowledge of God but now that he left the night he came to rescue you he pulled you out of that darkness restored you back into the light he cleansed you and by the blood he shed upon the cross you have entered into the holy of holies once and for all and high priest you have become in the order of Melchizedek so as of this very day you are a king and a priest and for that reason he said for he became a sin offering so that God could once and for all condemn the guilt the power, the power of sin your guilt he condemned the guilt the guilt that came against you for what you did in the past the guilt that I came against you it has been abolished I remove the power of that guilt that has come for you not to be able to rise into the potential that I've called you to walk in I call you out of that guilt and the power of sin is broken over your life be it idolatry be it sexual immorality be it homosexuality sexuality the power of that sin the act of the flesh is broken over your life this very day because he whom the son sets free is free indeed no longer shall you walk in the way of the old in the way of the old in ignorance that you walked in because now you have become my life my life in you because we are one in the spirit so every righteous requirement of the law can be fulfilled through Christ Jesus living his life in us and you're free 
now you're free now you're free to live my shant and now you're free to live to live in the fullness to live in the fullness of what I've called you to live in to live in the fullness my rebel shame at your place of work to live in the fullness in your ministry to live in the fullness of your marriage to live in the fullness my rebel shandy of everything my labor sham that I've called you to walk in. My labor shendo. Now you are free. You are free to live. You are free to live because the bondages over your life has been broken. My rebo shandelebanu. Whatever has come and held you down and said you will not move forward. My rabashe. I break it off you. I release the justice of the Lord right into it. Every legality that has come against you. I release illumination by the Spirit. That discernment and the revelation of Christ begin to bring you out of those legalities. Because the Bible declares, if the foundation is broken, how can the righteous Marabashande Rebo Shantalabasha? So I release Marabasha. If the foundation Marebo Shandelebasha is destroyed, Marabasha, what can the righteous do? Rabasendo, Christ has become our foundation. Therefore, the righteous can do something. Yes, it's called reconciliation. He can reconcile because he said to David in Amos 9 11, he says, I will rebuild Marabashande. And Christ came. And he affirmed the word. He says, Upon this rock, I will build my rebusha. So no longer is that scripture, my rebusha, relevant under the law, but has now become relevant in Christ Jesus because we have a savior who has come to build back what was torn down. My rebushande, that through Christ all has been made whole, all has been made well. My rebusha, by the reconciling which he did on the cross that we have now entered into, into the resurrection path. Power of his name, my repo shantelebasha, kamelebasha, and now you're free to live not according to the flesh, but by, by the dynamic power of the Holy Ghost. Now you are living by the power of the Spirit because you are His Spirit. What came against you? What overcame you in times past? Did you hear what first John chapter 2, I believe, verse 14 says? He says, You have already overcome the wicked one because of the work that He did on the cross so those who are motivated by the flesh only pursue what benefits themselves i declare that you are not motivated by the flesh you will not be 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 motivated only pursue what benefits themselves but those who live by the impulses of the spirit you will be led by the spirit you will be led by the spirit motivated by the Spirit, and you will pursue spiritual realities, because those motivated by the flesh, they only pursue what they desire for themselves, but those who are led by the Spirit, motivated by Holy Ghost, and led to pursue spiritual realities, that is why you do not lead by the flesh, but by the Spirit, because that is who you are, and your mindset is focused on the spiritual things, because the mind that is focused on the flesh cannot please God this is what I declare to you you do not have a brain because the world called it brain God called it mind that you see him he says the mind set on the flesh the things because your mind mind is set on the spiritual things because you're thinking the things that are above your mind set is focused you are not controlled by the flesh but by the spirit you are not controlled by the flesh but you are led by the spirit you are not controlled by the flesh but you are led by the spirit and your mindset is focused on the spiritual things because the spirit of Christ empowers your life I declare that as of this very day the spirit of Christ begins to empower Empower your life, empower your business, empower your finances, empower everything that pertains to you, empower your children, empower your ministry, the spirit of life at work in you, begin to empower everything that is about you in this moment and in this time, because you are not dominated by the flesh, but by the spirit. Do you hear what the father said in the book of Genesis chapter 1, 27, 28? He said, I have given you dominion. He gave Adam, he gave him 
dominion. Jesus came to restore that dominion back to us on the cross and in resurrection. And therefore, for that reason, you are not dominated. You will not be dominated by the flesh. Your ideas will not be by the flesh. Your marriage will not be by the flesh. Your ministry will not be by the flesh. Your business will not be by your flesh. Your ministry, your education, will not be by the flesh, but by the spirit, dominated by the spirit, dominated by the spirit, dominated by the spirit. The Bible declares, it says, Now Christ lives in you, and even though your body may be dead because of the effect of sin, his life giving spirit imparts life into you because you're fully accepted by God. So I declare that the law of the spirit of life begin to impart life onto your body. Every sickness that came against you, every sickness that came against you, I declare that right this minute, the life-giving spirit begin to impart life into your mortal body. That right this minute, I command that body to receive life. Every sickness broken off in the name of Jesus. And I declare that right this minute, any sickness that has tried to come to derail you or any part of your family, receive life. Receive life. Receive life. The quickening spirit of Abba Father begin to quicken every part of your body. Quicken your eyes. Quicken your legs. Quicken your body. Right this minute, begin to quicken your home. Begin to quicken your children. Your husband. Your wife. I declare that the life-giving spirit begin to quicken right this minute. Everything that pertains to you by the authority in the name of our Father who art in heaven, because you are accepted fully by God. Yes, God raised Jesus Marabashando to life and since God's spirit of resurrection yeah. The spirit of resurrection is at work in you. Do you hear what he did with Lazarus? He gave us a sample of what we would become eventually. He did it with Jairus' daughter. He did it with Lazarus. He did it with the widow's son. Because the law of death was at work in those people. And the law of the spirit of life came into the midst and brought what was dead, brought it back to life. He said, Jairus, your daughter is only her sleep. Lazarus come forth the widow's son he touched the briars they stopped and the man got back up do you see the fullness of that scripture because the Bible declares that when he on the cross gave up his spirit he says all those who died righteously they rose up and they did not come out of their graves until Jesus stepped out because he had to be the first one out and they couldn't come out until he came out. You can see the reason why the Lord has set you apart. He brought you out to bring your family out. He brought you out to bring your business out. He brought you out to bring your bosses and every one of them out. Because the spirit of resurrection. He said they couldn't come out until Jesus stepped out and everybody began to see those who have died begin to walk on the street. This is the life of resurrection that is at work in your business, in your education, in your children, in your finances. My label, sir, I command every part of you, every dimension of you to begin to resurrect. I command your health to resurrect. I command your home to resurrect. That marriage, it feels like it's going down. Nothing can be done about it. I command that marriage to resurrect. No longer Shall any The Bible declares, it says, according to his word, yes, God raised Jesus to life. And since God's spirit of resurrection life lives in you, he will also raise your dying body to life by the same spirit that breathes life in you. This is the reason why I said to you that you do not live, you do not breathe air, you breathe 
God, because you know why you do not breathe air. The Bible declares, it says, the power, the prince, there is a prince of the air. So you can see why people are struggling when they breathe, because the prince of the air, who controls, is coming against those who are breathing air. But it says in Romans 8 and 11, it says the same by the same spirit that breathes life. My level because the breath of God is the breath of life that brought Adam to life. He breathed it on his disciples. My level and he's breathing it inside of you because your spirit is one with him. La letorne. So then, beloved ones, the flesh has no claim on us at all. La le The flesh has no claim on you. The flesh has no claim. The flesh has no claim. My lebasha because you are not the flesh ye pasande you are not the flesh you are the spirit marabashande you are spirit marebosha lebashando so you do not live marabasha you have no obligation to live in obedience to the flesh because your flesh is in your spirit because the Bible says as he is so are we in this life so every dimension of you your flesh, your soul they are in your spirit led by the spirit it is the spirit that leads the flesh it is the spirit that leads the soul because you are spirit because you because if you are live, if you live and you're led by the flesh, you're about to die. But if the life of the spirit goes to death, the corrupt ways of the flesh, we then taste this abundant life. So I declare that the spirit of life begins every corrupt way of the flesh, that sexual immorality, that adultery, that witchcraft, that witchcraft. And I pray that right this minute that the law of the spirit of life is reconciling the witches, the sorcerers, that they encounter the Father in a new dimension like no other. That this very moment, according to Acts chapter 19, he says they heard the gospel. And what happened? The Bible says they began to burn their books of sorcery. That witch, that wizard, that sweet. I command and an encounter over your life. I saw met Jesus on the way to Damascus. You will encounter him because he does not delight for the wicked to perish. But come into the abundant life. Value because what you are doing is to control the flesh but you don't understand that the act of the flesh has already been judged so there is nothing in it but death and he's inviting you come into life because I want your soul to be reconciled to me the path you are on it leads only to death but I'm reaching out to you that you might come into life that you give up this ways because the Bible declares it says but if the life of the spirit puts to death the corrupt ways of the flesh we then taste his abundant life so we thank you that the life of the spirit that the corrupt way of the flesh we have overcome the corrupt ways of the flesh the mature sons of God are those who are moved by the impulses of Holy Ghost I declare this day I declare your every day is moved you are moved by the impulses of Holy Ghost in your business in your job you sit in your workplace and they are wondering they are wondering how is this person how are you getting these ideas do you know why because it's coming directly from the father directly from the throne of god because in your business you are excelling
excelling at your job. You are excelling in your career. You are excelling in your finances. You are excelling in your marriage. You are excelling in your ministry. You are excelling. Why? Because the Bible declares, it says the mature sons of God are those who are moved by the impulses of the Spirit. And you did not receive the spirit of religious duty. That is why we are sons. We are not Christians. Because Rashandi, Christianity is religion. So that spirit of religion that has come against you to put you back into the fear of never being good enough. I break it off you. You are good enough. I prophesy over you in your marriage. You are good enough as a husband. You are good enough as a wife. You are a good enough person. You think you being a kingdom spouse, you are not good enough for that man that God has given to you. I want to prophesy over you. You are good enough. Child, I want to say to you, if your parents have not told you so, you are good enough. Your boss never encourages you. You seem to be the one who is doing the hardest at your place of work. I want to assure you. I want to let you know and prophesy over you that you are good enough. You are good enough. You, you are welcome in the dimension of Timothy. Remember what Apostle Paul said to Timothy. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. You might be a young apostle. You might be a young prophet. You might be a young teacher. You might be a young evangelist. A young pastor. And you are looking at all these people who call themselves generals in the realm of the spirit. There is nothing like that identity in Christ. You are not a general. You are Christ. So don't let anyone look down on you. Don't let anyone look down on you because you, you are good enough. You are good enough. Apostle Paul even went on to say, look at him. I might not be as good or influential. I might not be as well speeched as those who call themselves super apostles. I am content with who I am. I want you to take that verse and believe in yourself that you are good enough. You are good because he speaks through you. Be confident in who you are because I am not leading you down their path. I've set you on the path that I've called you to be. The Bible declares because you have received, you have received the spirit of full acceptance. I have accepted you. I have accepted you in my kingdom. I have accepted you. It's not all about how well you're speaking. It is not all about. You're trying to be perfect because you're already perfect in me. It's not for you to try to prove yourself to me. I already know who you truly are. That is the reason why I called and I chose you because I have fully accepted you. Rise up to what I've called you to do. And do not be afraid. So I break off the fear of never being good enough. I break it off you for I have not given you the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of sound mind because you've been enfolded into the family of God and you will never feel often that often spirit that wants to come against you I'm alone I feel like I'm the only one doing this you feel you're all by yourself because nobody's around you can I share with you a mystery that you might be knowing today the reason why I sometimes have not allowed you to be around people because they might compromise your walk with me because of your holiness because of your purity your blamelessness so do not feel offended because if they rejected you that's because they rejected me and they rejected the one who sent me so I break off that projection of often spirit against your life no longer shall that be your portion 
Rusete Marebo Shantala Banieto Kame Kamela Urambia Sananu because I am rising up within you. I am rising up within you because my spirit is one with you and with tender affection I am leading you. Marabasha Yebashana Manu beloved father for Holy Ghost makes God's fatherhood real to you. Vision is when you're gonna know the dimension. Maka Sante Rebo Shantala Basha Kame Yele Basan Masande Lalatala Basante Benu. You will know me as a father in your life. I know you might not have had. Sometimes they preach that word, spiritual fathers, spiritual father. There is a father you need because the Bible declares, do not call anyone a father. Marie Busha, only God Himself is the Father. Masante Le Bushano, Yekando, Rebosana Manu, and I will show you who I am as a father to you, Yebasha, because I need you to need me. Because I am one with you, ye telebosha, le basano masante ke bele banu, la atar busetele, lo sene bosando, na nele bo retedo, ele ke lo bosano masane, na nele rononde ke mana sala basetel, le bosano masano, na na le ke lo basana. I know Apostle Paul said you need fathers, marabasa, but the truth is, ma le bosante basa, that can be true, that that in itself, ma la basante banu, ma la basante basu, can be not true. Why did I say that? Because the fathers that you might have for yourself, they might lead you down the wrong path that I have not ordained for you. Because I have called you to be set apart. Not like the way they are going, but a different route. Do you hear what the scripture says? It says on the highway of holiness. Not many can walk there because even the spiritual fathers they might not be walking in the holiness as you seem they are. That is why it says the road is wide and many fathers follow and it's narrow and only a few so your spiritual fathers might not be able to walk in the narrow road that I've called you to walk in and this is the reason that I will give Marabashano the one that is walking on that dimension I will give them to you Labashani to lead you right Makasano and this will be me leading you myself down in that direction Rabasha because of your purity I want your ministry I want your business I want your marriage I want your family to be blameless before me and this is where you're going to know the real fatherhood for Holy Ghost makes fatherhood real as he whispers into our innermost being God's beloved son you are my beloved son you are my beloved daughter in you I am well pleased in you I am well pleased this is the life that is at work in you this is the life that is manifesting in you because since you are his true son you are qualified to share all his strength for indeed we are heirs of God and since himself since we are joined with Christ we also inherit all that he has you have entered into my full inheritance my neighbor Sunday you have entered and this is the dimension in where I am going to cause you to inherit you are inheriting so much more than you've ever had in times past because in this hour you're walking in the fullness of the inheritance that I have laid out for you he says where your heart is so will where your treasure is so will where your treasure is that is where your heart will be also and you have treasured me you have looked to me you have looked to me seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and this is the hour that I am causing you in this hour to share in all the inheritance that I have laid up for you for indeed you are my ham because you are joined to my son and also inherit all that he has and all that he has because you will experience being co-glorified with him provided you accept his suffering as your own you have suffered for my sake that is why the Bible declares in 1 Peter 5.10 it says after you have suffered a while I have seen your suffering for my sake. I have seen your suffering for my sake. How you have endured. How you have endured. You have persevered. My reboshendo. Through the afflictions. Through the persecutions. Through the slanders. And the mockeries. And now your name is being exalted. You are being co-glorified. Because you are now one with him. You are being co-glorified. Now I can trust you. I can trust you with the word. I can trust you not to run away. I can trust you. My 
that if I send you, you will definitely go without hesitation. Because of the sufferings that you have endured for the sake of my son. Because I am now convinced that every suffering you have endured is less than nothing compared to the magnitude glory that you are walking in. This is the glory that is being unveiled. Oh, Jesus looked up in John 17 and 1. He says, Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy son that thy son may glorify you. And this is the hour that I'm glorifying your name, glorifying your business, glorifying your education, glorifying your career, glorifying your job, glorifying your finances because of your endurance in the suffering that you have suffered for the sake of my son, that you went through the fire, you came out pure gold. Look at the dimension of you. You have come out pure gold. Look at the dimension of you. Everything about you is pure gold in this hour. Your name is pure gold. Can you hear all over creation how they are singing your name? The angels, they are singing your name. The stars, they are shining your name. This is the dimension of where he ascended and he sat on the right hand side of Abba Father. This is your ascension because your name is being sung in this hour by creation. The animals, they sing your name. The creation sings your name. The stars, they sing your name. They rejoice at your presence. They rejoice at your presence because you and my name, your name and my name have become one. Masante and God exalted him far above, exalted his name far above every other name. It's your name that I'm exalting. And the glory is being revealed in June. Can you see what he's saying? The entire universe is standing on tiptoe, yearning to see. Oh, the gods, they're yearning to see the unveiling of God's glorious sons and daughters. They are waiting. Creation is waiting. Oh, they are waiting to see your glorious manifestation. Because the Bible goes on, it says, For against his will, for against his will, the universe itself has had to endure the empty futility resulting from the consequences of sin. But now, with eager expectation, they are longing for freedom, and you are the freedom. Because the Bible declares, Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. You are the liberty they have been longing for. You are the liberty they have been looking to the, to set them free from the slavery to decay every slavery to decay I release the justice of the Lord of slavery to decay in your life in your life in everything that pertains to you in the mighty name of Jesus oh Rabbi Shande and now to experience they are with you experiencing the freedom coming to them through you to this day because you are aware of the universal agony and the agony and the groanings of creation as if it were in contraction of labor for childbirth it is not just us, creation. It is us who have also experienced the first fruit of the Spirit, also inwardly grown as we passionately, as we passionately long to experience our full status as God's sons and daughters, including our physical bodies, being transformed. In Matthew chapter 17, the Bible declares, it says, and Jesus went up the mountain, and he was transfigured before them. This is the hour of your transformation and your transfiguration. For all creation to see that you are the one that I have called to lead this, to bring them out. Just as I sent Moses, just as I sent David, as I sent my son ahead, I am sending my Basha, and creation is going to begin to experience the first fruit of the Spirit through you because of your oneness with him, Christ Jesus, because this is the hope. You are the hope of their salvation. You are the hope of their salvation. You are the hope hope because the garment of salvation has been placed on you for you are the hope of their salvation
it says so because our hope is set on what is yet to be seen yes you have seen him and you patiently wait oh for its fulfillment and it's now being fulfilled that is why the Bible declares in Luke chapter 4 Jesus said today the scripture has been fulfilled in your presence and this is the similar way Holy Ghost has taken hold of you to empower you in your weakness because in your weakness I am made strong but you are already strong for the Bible declares it says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you do you know why? because in the book of Galatians 2.20 you have already been crucified with Christ Jesus and it is now you who no longer live but Christ who now lives through you so you've been strengthened through Christ so when you don't because for some of you because the journey of how far it has been how long it has been how long you have waited for the promise to be made manifest Ephesians 3 and 16 says there is power that is at work from your inner being I command that power to be made manifest in you because when you know not how to pray the spirit in you awakens to pray for you I declare that you are being prayed for Holy Ghost prays for you I command strength is manifesting you to rise up to begin to pray that weariness that wants to come over you I break it off I break that weariness off rise up rapetale Sante Camunda la Bassanano, Yelebora Talabasadere, Robo Sanu, Yelebana Sande Lebasha, La Lassa, Camena Massa, Yerebo Sanama Sante Cabinemotondo, Robansania Talabasero. Do you hear what the Bible says? It says, Yet he also misunderstands the desires of the Spirit, Marabasha, because Holy Ghost passionately pleads before God for us, the Holy Ones in perfect harmony with God's plan and our destiny. I declare that you will not miss the plan of the Father, you will not miss His plan for your business you will not miss his plan for your destiny you will not miss his plan in creation for what he has called you to do you will not miss his plan Marabasha, over your assignment in creation you will not miss it 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 in the name of jesus you will not miss the plan the bible declares it says i pray Marabasha, ephesians chapter one that wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him that in the knowledge of him you will not miss the plan of the father in your life in the mighty name of Jesus because every detail I declare that every detail of your life is continuously woven together for good for this purpose Marabasha for you are his lover and who has been called to fulfill his design purpose you will fulfill your purpose your children will fulfill their purpose you will fulfill your purpose your children will fulfill their purpose you will not miss the purpose to which he has called you you will not miss the purpose to which he has called you you will not miss the purpose to which he has called you I bless you with revelation I bless you with insight that today you fulfill Marabasha and you begin to walk in the fulfillment of his plan for your destiny fulfilling what he has designed for your purpose because your destiny has been determined ahead of time because he has called you to himself and has transferred the perfect righteousness for you and the righteousness of God to everyone he called and you have been called you have been chosen and to those who possess his perfect righteousness he called glorified he called glorified you have been glorified with him you have been glorified in him because you are his glory upon the earth that's why he says arise shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you so what does this mean the Bible tells you that while you are doing what it is that you're doing if God has determined to stand with you tell me who could ever stand against you who can stand what accusation can they bring against you who can bring you down when God has decided to raise you up you have to believe that in yourself I command that right this minute that the spirit of faith rises up inside of you I break off every power of projections 
for unbelief against you to doubt what he has spoken concerning you, your marriage, your partner, your wife, your husband, your ministry, business, your education, in that creation where you are. For God has proved his love, giving us his greatest treasure. Because you are the son. You are the gift that he has given unto creation. His son. This Bible declares, this is my beloved son. That is who you are. Whether you are a man or you are a woman, you are a son. In the realm of the flesh, you are a daughter. But in the spirit, you are a son. It's certain. I want you to believe it. He will not withhold any good thing from you because you know why? He's giving you the desires of his heart to manifest in your life. That is why you can hear the Bible tell you, it says, Who dare, who dare accuse you? Because now the case is closed. There remains no accusing voice. So who then would dare to accuse those whom God has chosen in love to be his in God himself because he is the judge who has issued the final verdict over them. Not Guilty, la sante le bushado, that abortion, you are not. Guilty, They called you. What they called you, you are not guilty. They put you in the den like they did Daniel, and they blamed you for it. You are not guilty. They put Jesus on the cross. Do you hear what Pilate said to Jesus? You are not guilty. I speak that over you today. You are not guilty for the things they did to you. Rise up, my rebel. Dust yourself off. Because I want you to know that the final verdict against every accusation they raised against you, that was not your fault. I declare you today, you are not guilty. For many years, they said, this person, you waste money, you spend money anyhow, and they didn't realize it did not begin with you. It started from somebody or a witchcraft was done against you, and they blamed you for it, for what they did to you. You are not Guilty, Rabasante le basano, Manabasa, Cabella la basante, Cabena masondo, Rabasante, Camele basiate, Rotete le bonisarete, Kerebo sondo. You are not guilty for everything they did to you. They blamed you. They said you are at fault. I declare you not guilty. Yetala basande, Cabella, Rasan masa, Camele basan. I surround you completely with the wall of fire. I surround you completely with the wall of fire. That is why the Bible declares. It says, we shall dwell. It says, you dwell in the secret place of the Most High, abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. You are abiding under the shadow. So I declare that right this minute, every frequency of every voice that is not of the Lord that has come to accuse you, whether in dreams, they shouted, they chased you, they robbed you of things in dreams, I declare you are not guilty. I speak restoration back over your life right this minute for everything that you lost, everything that was stolen, everything that you lost. Thief. He tried to come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come to give life and give it abundantly. I declare over the life in your life. I declare you are not guilty in the mighty name of Jesus. My Rabbi Shah, who then is left to condemn you? Certainly not Jesus. For he has given his life to you. You are walking in triumphant victory. Everything about your life triumphantly walking in victory because you are the victory of the Lord. You are the victory of the Lord. You are the victory. Victory of the Lord, Maraba Sande, Rebosha, Kamele Basha, and no one can divorce you from the love of God's anointed one. No one can divorce you. No one, not trouble, not pressure, not problems, nothing can come between you and the love of heaven. So, right this minute, everything that has come because the Bible declares is because of the wickedness of men. That is the reason why love begins to diminish. So, I declare over your life that this very day, the love in you begins to manifest. You are the love of the Father. The banner over you is love. The banner over you is love. No persecution, no deprivation, no danger, no death threat. Yekabenasam can separate you from the love, can hinder you from the love of the Father. Because all day long, my Rebosha, you might be facing death threat at your workplace. In your job, in your ministry. But remember, Yerebosha, nothing can separate you from his love. Because you have triumphed. You have triumphed. 
triumphed. You have triumphed. You have triumphed because of the demonstration of your love over everything. You're walking in glorious victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, it all ends. Today, it comes to an end because you're the fulfillment of the purpose in which has called you to walk in. So right this moment, there is nothing, nothing in this present, nothing in this present, nothing in this present, nothing in this present of future circumstances can weaken his love for you. No principality, no fallen angels or dark rulers of this earth because you are the love of the Father and that love is manifested in you. There is no power between us or in us. There is no power between us, beneath us, above, that can be found in the universe, that can distance you from the love of God because the power that is at work in you is the power of Christ Jesus. You have the power of Christ inside of you because you are him which is lavished upon you. So right in this moment, I declare that you are free, walking in liberty of what he has called you to do. Right this moment, I declare that you're walking in the life of the spirit and that life of the spirit is manifesting all around you, all over you, in every dimension of you, that of this very day no longer shall you labashando be set back but continue to move forward because he says pressing forward to the mark of the high calling that is in Christ Jesus yes I command you to live I command you to live because the life of the spirit in Christ Jesus Holy Ghost is in and on you that as of this very day you're walking in the fulfillment of that purpose receive that life walk in that life let everything around you begin to come to life because of his resurrection life that is upon you Kamir nu se te be sanu masande le le bosino. Karande marebo ranata. Kanta tele rundo se mene funde entendo bosano masoro. Karasi etendo lo bosin de fali asanano. Malebo ranita pela. Kamele po shonta mio sekendo. Palebo ne sele le le bo. Rande nente le sanano nande kamanando. You are walking in victory. You are walking in victory. You are walking in victory. This is your triumphant victory. It is established because of your co-union in Christ Jesus. You are united with him. You are one with him. You are one with him. You are one with him. You are the spirit of life. You are here to give life unto creation. You are walking in the life of the Father. You are the glory of Zion. You are the glory of Zion. You are the glory of Zion. And I bless you in this moment because you are the glory of Zion in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You're the blessedness of the Father. God bless you, and I love you also very much. And I welcome you to the life of the Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.